We will meet with you to discuss your needs and explain ways in which those needs can be met, considering the usual constraints of land size, topography and, of course, cost. Once those parameters are known, we'll prepare a written quote outlining the best solution in siting and constructing the development. A plan and costings are done on what has been discussed with you whilst taking into account the requirements of the relevant council approval. The plans and quote are submitted to the client and the agreement is reached to proceed. We will submit plans to council and our experience and reputation provide a marked advantage in minimising delays and changes and the client, happy with the plans approved by council, signs the contract. We would now like to show you a Pacific Grass tennis court being constructed. After discussing the project on site, the work begins. Frequently the trees and foliage have to be cleared and removed from the site. Due to topography constraints, excavation and or suspension is often necessary to level the playing field area. All of these works are in accordance with the engineer's drawings and supervised on site, where it is necessary to have supporting columns to obtain the required area of level surface. These columns require a solid foundation, and this in turn requires individual boreholes to be drilled to bedrock. Where a concrete base is required and the ground has not been compacted, it is also necessary for columns to be installed to support the concrete slab. All necessary retaining walls are constructed and these will act as formwork in this area for the concrete pour. The rest of the formwork is installed and the columns previously poured in the level area are cleared of sand to expose the top of the concrete column. The concrete must have reinforcing steel to add strength to the structure, again completed with strict engineering guidelines to avoid cracking. The pouring of the concrete requires many ready-mix concrete truck deliveries as the pour has to be continuous until completed. The concrete is pumped to the site and distributed by hose. A long-handled steel trowel is used for smoothing the concrete. A machine called a helicopter, for obvious reasons, is then used to smooth the surface to the precise requirement. The fence is painted with special long-lasting epoxy paint and the netting is fixed. After the concrete is set, our trained staff carefully mark out the exact measurements. Methodical laying of the Pacific grass is carried out successfully. Pacific grass has been especially developed in Australia to cope with the harsh environment and especially the ultraviolet rays. Pacific grass comes in different grades and colours to suit the needs of different clients. Pacific grass is the choice of many tennis associations and clubs and is backed by a full 10 year ultraviolet degradation warranty. The sidelines and other parallel lines have already been inlaid in the rolls at the time of manufacture. Now the base and parallel lines have to be laid and the court assembled into one piece by the use of special outdoor solvent-based adhesives. Our constant attention to detail requires that a lot of the work is done by hand and so ensuring a perfect finish. Special silica sand is then spread over the court and then worked into the Pacific grass. And this gives the high quality playing surface desired. 
The use of the correct sand is critical for the longevity of the port surface. And with use, the sand settles further into the grass. Excellent quality floodlights are available where approved by Council. These lights have a special cut-off feature to avoid neighbour annoyance. This is a big plus when negotiating with Council for lighting approval. The finished court is now ready for use.